just as Christians will use certain places in the Hebrew Bible, like Psalm 22, Isaiah chapter 53, the suffering servant, as proof text that Jesus was crucified, we don't have to use proof text from the Old Testament to argue Jesus was crucified. It's an historical fact that he died by crucifixion. It is not a historical fact that Jesus was crucified, just as it is not even a historical fact that Jesus existed at all. And as for Psalm 22 and Isaiah 53, they were not messianic prophecies about Jesus. On the contrary, they were the template that the Greeks used to create the mythical Jesus. Numerous early sources confirm Jesus died by crucifixion. You mean the hand-picked Christian narrative written by anonymous authors who were not eyewitnesses to Jesus or the resurrection? The biblical canon was not established until the 5th century, and we have no complete manuscripts of any New Testament book before the 4th century. That gives Christians over 300 years to develop their story as they see fit by people who were not eyewitnesses including secular sources. The Testimonium Flavianum by Josephus is an obvious Christian forgery. Josephus did not believe that Jesus was the Christ, and Tacitus said that Christianity was a mischievous superstition. First off, the word is just anointed. Numerous men in the Hebrew Bible, both priests and kings, are called God's anointed. Correct. So there is no Hebrew concept of a singular Messiah. The Hebrew concept of a Messiah was every single king and chief priest who was anointed to the position. It's only at a much later time point that being called the Anointed One specifically refers to the Messiah. Not only was it a much later development, it was a development by the Greeks that there would be a singular Messiah. Basically, this verse is not a messianic prophecy unless you read that into the passage. There is not a single prophecy anywhere in the Hebrew Scriptures that is a messianic prophecy about Jesus, unless you read it into the text. The only religious tradition that made this claim that Jesus wasn't crucified were the Muslims. No, we can find this claim in Gnostic religious traditions, which started sprouting up in the 2nd century AD. And some of these groups existed well into the Middle Ages, which means they would have been existing alongside Muslims. The Muslims certainly weren't first because the Bible itself documents this tradition in 1 John chapter 4. Which says, By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit who confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit who does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist of whom you have heard that it comes. Now it is in the world already. But in 1945 at Nag Hammadi in Egypt, they discovered... Christian treatises and gospels and apocalypses that actually state that there were indeed Christian denominations that denied the crucifixion. And we knew about them before 1945 because church fathers like Irenaeus mentioned them. So now we've established a historical fact that there has always been a tradition that Jesus was not who the Christians claimed that he was. He may not have come in the flesh at all, which means he may not have been crucified at all. And we know why these later heretical groups denied the crucifixion. They had a theological commitment to Jesus being only divine, not human. Wow, you mean like the theological commitment that Christians have today that Jesus was both fully divine and fully human? I expose the lies of Christianity in my book, Jesus Demigod, Putting the Lord on Trial on Amazon. If you want to see the evidence against Christianity and make an informed decision, then you need to read this book. Click the link in my bio.